Where'd it go? Amazing. It's quite a click. I don't think our chickens would like it. Yeah, it would click away. Hello, I hope you're having a lovely day today. We have a quote on our fridge and I wish I knew where it came from. I didn't write the credit on the quote. When I first married Scott, he had this habit of writing on note cards or printing off quote photos and I loved it. I love that he had all of these encouraging quotes on his computer, on note cards, post-it notes, and we would just stick them all over the house for encouragement. And we've moved many times through our marriage and those little note cards have moved with us. So I also started creating little quotes and every time we moved we would go through them and pick out the ones that inspire us and put them around the house. So when we moved into this house, I put this one on our refrigerator. It says, The quality of life is in proportion always to the capacity for delight. I said in the last video, I talked about how I'm on a journey of believing that today is blessed. Choosing to believe that I am blessed today. I don't have to wait until all of our hopes and dreams come true to consider myself blessed. And I thought that tied right in with this quote, the quality of life is in proportion always to the capacity for delight. And then this reminded me of another quote. A few years ago, one of you gifted me with a book series from Layla Lawler. She has three books. They're called The Summa Domestica. One of the first chapters in her first book, she talks about the importance of both having order in the home and having wonder in the home. And that has always stuck with me through the years. Wonder is a little bit more of a natural thing for me, whereas order is more of a discipline. But I know how important order is for me because when there is order, there is peace and it gives me space for wonder. Good morning. Yeah. Good morning, Welcome. Especially how small those wings are all rolling. Yeah. We actually got to hear the crackling of that butterfly coming out of the cocoon and I've always wanted to see it come out. Uh, it was already out by the time we realized where the sound was coming from, but I've never seen the butterfly with the wings so compact. It has been so much fun getting back into finding caterpillars and seeing the whole transformation process of a caterpillar to a butterfly. It just makes you so in awe of our God and how creative he is and how big he is and also how in the details he is. Back to the order and wonder side of things. For me, order is creating systems to make the home economy run smoother. I feel like that is my role in being a housewife, a homemaker, is to create systems that make a functioning home. That's why I love the concept of the home economy because for those of us who are not naturally gifted in order, it gives a tangible vision of practical, simple, small steps of things that we can be doing to create order within our home by how we steward our time, money, and resources. So I thought I would share with you some fun deals that I found today. So 
two days ago, I went to Publix and I saw this shampoo and conditioner in their clearance section for $4.49. And I got one bottle of each of the shampoo and conditioner because I wasn't sure if I was going to like this brand. I know I've had it in the past, but I think that's when we lived in a house with really hard water. And so I wasn't sure if I liked it or if it was just the water from where we lived. So I bought a bottle of each. And yesterday I washed my hair with it and my hair feels so clean and nice. And I told Scott, Oh, I wish I would have bought all the bottles that they had on clearance because when I went to the, we have a, I would call it a health food store. I feel like it's similar to Whole Foods and there's only like six or seven of them in the country and it's a regional grocery store. So I like going there because we don't shop at Whole Foods and they had this brand and for a smaller bottle, it was $12. Obviously, it wasn't on sale, but then I realized how good of a deal this was for $4.49. So I was driving past that Publix today, and I decided to go and see if there happened to be any bottles left. I didn't have much hope, but I figured I would check, and there was a bottle of each left of the shampoo and conditioner. So I got those, and then added to the clearance shelf were these kitchen bags, which I just took our trash out this morning, and I saw that our kitchen trash bags were running low and usually I will wait till they're on sale to buy them and when I saw these were on clearance I was so excited I went back to see if 519 was a good deal I thought it was a good deal but I always go back and look at the normal trash bag section and obviously they are discontinuing these because it is the tie kind instead of the drawstring and so the drawstring ones that were there there's a hundred of them in the box and it was $18 for a hundred bags and I got the 90 bag one for $5.19 and they had four boxes so I went ahead and got all four of them because that will save us money in the long term and we will not have to buy trash bags for our kitchen for years <laughs> I'm presuming. Then on my way out past the trash bags I saw there was a shelf and they had the mineral fusion nail polish on clearance and normally it's ten dollars and they had it marked down to 7.49 i am not a huge nail polish person but i do like to wear it on certain occasions so i thought that this color was really pretty you can actually see i've painted my nails already with this color and i also thought that this top coat gel was really nice if i don't want to paint my nails then i can just do a clear coat so i get to the register and this one rings up for ten dollars it didn't show up on clearance so i was at the self-checkout so i asked the guy for help and said that the sign said they were on clearance so then we scanned this one and this one did show up that it was 749 so then he went in and just made this one priced out to zero and i must have given him a very funny look he was like oh if something rings up wrong and the price on the shelf is different then we give it to you for free. It's part of our store po policy. And I was shocked. I couldn't believe it. And you know, that's happened to me at Publix before, but it obviously doesn't happen enough for me to remember that that's a thing that they do. And I was so thankful as I was walking out to the car, I was like, God, you are so much fun. Like, obviously I was happy to pay $7.50 for both of them, but what are the odds? They gave it to me for free. So 750 for both of these and so I did my nails and I got home and I really like the color of it if you are interested in the color it is bare minimum and then this one is just the gel top coat so then I had to go to the store that I usually go to I went there on Tuesday when I went to the Publix and they also messed up on ringing me out. They had boulder chips on sale, two for $5. They're normally $5 and they didn't ring up. And so I called them when I got home and they said, next time you're in the area, just come in and we'll make it right. So I went there. While I was in there, they always have discounted fruits and veggies area. And they had these and bananas on clearance. So this was $1.80 for all of these organic lemons. This was $2 and this was $1.60 for organic red potatoes. So that was another really good find. And then when I was at Publix, these were on sale for a dollar. And I realized the other day in our cleaning closet that we didn't have any other gloves. It's just nice to have latex gloves on hand because you never know what situation is going to come up that you'll need gloves so since those were on sale i went ahead and got those 
And then here's all of the bananas that they also had discounted down and I am going to freeze most of them for smoothies and then I will use some of them for breakfast this week for the egg and banana pancakes that we like doing and then maybe I'll make some banana bread or banana muffin. As much as I love the concept of creating a home of order and wonder, because I think both of those things contribute to being able to delight in your life. The moment that I try to do either of those in my own strength is when fruitlessness happens or I get burnt out because I am so dependent upon myself. It brings us back to John 15 when Jesus says, abide in me and I in you as the branch cannot bear fruit by itself unless it abides in the vine. Neither can you unless you abide in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. Whoever abides in me and I in him, he it is that bears much fruit. For apart from me, you can do nothing. Do you want to open it? So pretty. I think all the ones at the top have... Yeah. Yeah, they're all opened. Did you see some are bigger than others? Mm -hmm. Some are run. <laughs> oh, there it goes. Come on. It's so beautiful. And so Jesus says clearly, if you want to bear fruit, abide in me, for apart from me, you can do nothing. And I do notice that with my personal life. If I am not being intentional with my time with Jesus or praying or worshiping, then that is the open door for chaos to come into the house of things just not getting done. And that same goes for losing wonder. The desire to go outside is gone. The desire to move your body is gone or enjoy creation. It's a doom loop cycle that the enemy wants to get us in. So if you ever end up in a place like that, for me, what has helped me so much years ago, probably 10 years ago, I listened to a guy named Graham Cook and he shared a story when he spends time with the Lord reading his Bible, he will make a cup of tea for himself and for Jesus. It inspired me so much. And in my last video, I talked about how 2019 was just one of the hardest years we've ever gone through. And I cannot count how many times that year alone, I did that so many times where I made a cup of tea for me and by faith made a cup of tea for Jesus because I was struggling. I was like, God, it does not feel that you're with me. It doesn't feel like you are here. But by faith, I know that you're here. I know that you see me and I'm going to talk to you as if you're sitting on the couch right next to me. Because the alternative is cutting off relationship and being in despair. And I know to some of you that may sound so bizarre. I'm not here to be a theological person. This is my childlike faith journey. I don't have anything you can have. Look, it's one of our butterflies. Here is the compost. The tomatoes growing out of it. 
Scott's mowing, so he's putting all the grass on it. So I am going to put this right on top because there will be more grass coming. I'm working on putting strings up for this row of tomatoes. This was the last group to get planted. This whole row is the row that our neighbor gave us and all the tomatoes in there are huge, so big. This row is, I believe, either brandy wine or Pruden purple. These two rows are cherry tomatoes and they've gotten so big. You can see that they're growing taller than the conduit pipes, like much taller. Last night, I was trying to weave this one up and I broke it. It's not that big of a deal because there will be suckers that grow out, which is fine, but you can see just how prolific they are and they're finally turning red. We picked our first big cherry tomato off this left side and tonight I'm gonna come out here and pick a whole bunch of basil to put in the dehydrator. But they're also massive cherry tomatoes. These are cool. So this is my first time ever growing cotton. I planted these from seed. They were supposed to be four plants and one of them died, but they are beautiful. Look at the flowers. And the spot where the one died, I planted a rosemary bush. But I am really excited about these. The worms have destroyed what was left of the kale. So we've been feeding it to our chickens and they have been enjoying it. And then in the fall, I bought a huge bulk pack of this Irish spring soap from Publix. And then we just had them all stored in here. We still have three boxes left, but this repels deer. And we have deer all around our yard, but for some reason they do not hop this little fence. So I've been stringing or shoving the soap bars all around the fence to deter them from even trying because the other day we came outside in the morning and noticed that the deer came and chomped all the leaves off of these sunflowers. So they're obviously getting close enough to the fence, but they've not tried jumping yet, praise the Lord. So hopefully the soap around will stop them from even attempting to come in. So apart from Christ, we can do nothing, but in Christ, we can do all things. We can create a beautiful, orderly home by his help and by patience, by doing small things every day that contributes to our home economy, whether that be building a garden, being a good steward of your finances, and then we also can steward wonder by taking pauses, by living slowly, by having our eyes open to creation in front of us, by enjoying the meals that we create. Again, I think that's why I just love having a garden because to me it is so healing to be able to go out to our land and pick so much food that we grew from seed and be able to create a nutritious meal for us. For us, the garden is so much more than just it being something to save money on food. That's not why we create a garden because if that were the motivation, we probably wouldn't create a garden because <laughs> you do sometimes spend money on creating a garden. There is an initial upfront cost to having a garden. So if you're doing it just to save money, you're probably going to be disappointed. But 
if you're doing it to get in touch with who God created you to be, it's going back to Eden where God placed Adam and Eve of being a steward of the land. And if you are in a season where you don't even have land, that could be as simple as sprouting seeds in your house in a jar, which is what I was doing earlier with the wheat berries. I've been sprouting the wheat berries so that way they're easier to digest when we grind them. Or it could be growing basil on a windowsill. No matter the season that you're in, you can be creating with the work of your hands. You can be enjoying Eden. The post mowing grass mound <laughs> compost pile. I think we're going to have to expand the compost. These are some grapevines I got from, I can't remember if it was Lowe's or Home, I think it was Lowe's. They were $6. This was probably a month ago. And we still need to figure out where to plant them. We were going to plant them outside of the fence, which is where they were and then the deer ate them all up. So they've now been moved into the Finston area and we're thinking of putting it right along this area. It's 8.30 at night. This is my favorite time of the day to be in the garden, which sounds peculiar, but it's so peaceful. It's cool. We are blessed with having afternoon shade in the garden because of the big tree which sometimes I think slows some growing down, but I think for the hot summer months, it's actually working in our favor for the garden. These tomatoes are my bush tomatoes and they are all over the place. We've tried to keep them standing up and they're just kind of flopping all over the place, but I'm excited to see them starting to turn. And these ones are the, I think it's eight, Ace 55 tomatoes, but they're bush tomatoes. They're determinate ones. I thought they were Romas. They are not. They are massive. So always looking for worms on these leaves with holes in them. But yeah, this is all fallen over, but they're doing really well. All right, time to cut this basil. My mom grew this basil from seed and then gave me the little tiny starts and they've done really well because I've struggled with basil this year. My basil is down here, which this is Thai basil, which is doing really good. I actually need to cut that. My Genovese basil is very small. So the ones that my mom gave me, I'm going to cut and dehydrate because it's wonderful for pasta and pizza and I think I used all that we had last year. These three were the last of our butterflies that we hatched in the house and they are just so beautiful. It was such a fun process. I hope that this video blessed you and I hope that you have a wonderful rest of your week.